she I ran over a dog and destroyed the bike and now my beautiful wife has to drive me to work it's not ideal because then she has to pick me up from work the, the timing of it is just not ideal it's not great we need another bike so I've literally just put a deposit on a Honda Grom which is a bit of a step down from a Harley not quite the same horse purse purse it'll do for getting me to work and back I'll stick a little top hops on it it'll be great the only problem is that I'm in tweed heads right now and the Honda Grom is in Sydney well, actually my wife booked my flights flight flight being the operative word because I'm going to ride that bike from Sydney up here to Tweed Heads. This particular motorcycle has a maximum speed of 90 k's an hour in a tailwind. I'm going to be a truck driver's worst nightmare. When I bought my first ever motorcycle when I was 17 years old, I'd gotten a motorcycle license, but I didn't know how to ride a motorcycle. And the friend who went with me, who knew how to ride a motorcycle, said, fuck this, I'm not riding a motorcycle in the rain on icy roads. Um, so we ended up taking that motorcycle back to Sydney on a train. That kind of worked out well for us. It reminds me of that. It's a Honda. I have to go a long way to go get it. It's going to be really dicey getting it home. I'm going to work now. Um, about to finish an afternoon shift and then first thing in the morning I'll be getting on a plane I finished my shift it's one in the morning I've checked in and I'll be getting up in three and a half hours to get on the plane put the little right on right on banana got the Grom and it is tiny it is absolutely teeny tiny this is not what I expected at all or maybe it is I don't know but the freeway is going to be a riot because it's great around Eastwood trying to get onto the freeway but I'm about to get on the freeway and I, I don't think this is the right bike for it I wouldn't recommend it. I take it back. I got off the freeway uh, because I thought I was going to die through Mount White on Old Pack. Flippin' awesome, bruh. Gee, it's good fun. Don't go worrying about what's dead and gone. 150 kilometers. First upgrade will be a seat. Oh, I've got left to prove. 470 kilometers under my belt. My ass is really sore. That seat is horrible, terrible. 320 kilometers to go. I've noticed a couple of things. A lot of people really like the bike. Every time I stop, I'm getting compliments or people start conversations. Um, and the bike is good for 100 k's an hour. And it sits just under red line at 8,000 revs, which is a pleasant surprise. I thought I was going to be a lot worse than that. Whenever we get an incline and start going uphill, um, kind of drops down to the mid 80s. Sometimes I need to drop a gear. So far, pleasantly surprised. 300 k's to go. Petrol stations on the freeway are starting to close and the range on Betty Gromberg is just not very good. So who do you know that can drink five liters of petrol and not get sick? Jerry can. Rosie Grover, get me home tonight. Yes, because she is a Honda. Shh, shh. The 
kangaroos asleeping. Look out for the fucking wombat.